Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of Bubble Sort. I'm going to start by clicking on Create New Project, and right here, select C Sharp. Make sure your platform is C Sharp, and here, just change that to Console. That will make life easy for you. Okay, and the platform that I'm using here is Windows. So I'm going to now select console application.net framework. Make sure that is selected and click on next. And give your project a name. I'll just call that bubble sort. So let's just call it C underscore bubble sort. There we go. Click on create. There we go guys, now that my application is ready, the first thing I like to do is to come right up here, you see where we have inner class program, underneath the inner class program, I will first of all declare the following static variable and the data type is going to be double and in there it's going to be an array, there. And this array, I'm going to give it a name. I just call that numbers. And this very number, I'm going to say equals as follows. Open up your curly braces and make sure that your curly braces is ended with a semicolon. And right there, I'm just going to enter the following values. So let's say 37, 22. Let's enter another three more. Let's say 70. 21 and 45 that's fine okay the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another static variable static variable and this one is going to be integer and the value of that integer I'm going to call it n the variable name is called n all right that is done right underneath where we have static void main we will then assign whatever we have inside our numbers here. I want to assign whatever I have in here straight into the variable n. Let's say number dot the length of all the numbers that I have in here. So dot length and enter semicolon there. Now, the next thing is, I'm going to declare another variable in here. I'm going to call that int k. And k equals 1. I will also declare the other one that I'm going to call j. j will be equals whatever the value of n is. I will not minus that by 2. Now, another variable that is going to be i. There, so let's scroll down. Now that we have that, we now need to use the while loop. Y k is less than n. We want the following to happen. What we want is i initialize that with zero, and let's create another while loop. And this while loop that I've just created, that is going to be i less than and equals to whatever j is, whatever j is, and enter curly braces. That should be less than. Now, what they need to do is you create two methods because I'm going to be using a conditional statement here to check the numbers in here so what I want to do right now I'm going to start by entering as follows let's say static void and the very first one is going to be swap and for swap I'm going to initialize it with the following argument so the first one is going to be I the second one is going to be J come right down here okay now before I do any other thing first of all I'm going to create a temporary variable in there so that very variable is going to be double and that is going to be called temp 
and I want temp to now take in whatever we have inside numbers and numbers will be equals numbers j so this is 2022 so I can just tap 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 because it seems to recognize what I'm trying to achieve then the next thing is I'm just gonna say temp okay numbers equals temp there we go that is that done and let's create another method right underneath here and this method is going to be boolean so let's say static boolean and I'm just gonna give that name I'll call it not in order and not in order we take in the following argument i comma int j and enter query braces now I also want you to return as follows so I want you to return n that would be number let's say number numbers as int and it has to be less than j okay not equals to it's less than j now that i've taken care of the two function i'm now going to come up here you see inside the second while loop i'm now going to compare let's use a conditional statement to check what we have inside not in order and not in order check out i comma then we say i plus one now let's press enter call the braces and let's ask swap to actually swap whatever we have inside i there we go and come right here we now want to increment i say i plus plus and we will also have to increment k remember the k that was up there the k plus plus now that those are done the next thing we now want to do is we now want to use a for loop come right down here so for and q equals the value of zero q less than numbers dot length and q plus plus press enter let's see now when i want our console to display the output say console dot write Q. very good but well, what I want console to also do for me is let console arrange it or let's say carriage return now the next thing I want to do is right underneath here I'm now going to ask the console to do as follows again so right underneath the for loop is console there all we just want the console to do now is just to write we also want the console dot to read keys else the system will just flash and you won't see anything and there that is it done okay all that is left for us now is just to try out the program so you guys just take it from up there I'm gonna bring it down so that you see how the code codes look like there now then give it a try that is it guys very similar to the one created in Java console yesterday there we go okay decision time let's run click on start and there we go look at that see the numbers have has been shuffled let me show you guys the numbers those are the numbers and here are the shuffled ones there 
and that's how you create your own bubble salt though it's not the best way to salt but it's very useful all right so have a good look at the lines of codes again there there we go so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now